Take us through what we're going to learn today. What are some of the drills you First trying to thing we do when we get out here is we start to isolate the hands. And then we come after the hands, then we go to the feet. Um, we start with a small glove, and then we take it to a flat glove, and then we have him to take ground balls with the flat glove so he can continue to use his hands. And then we put depth on his hand, which is his glove. And once we go to his glove, then we start cutting angles. We start working our feet. And when the day is over, he, had, he would have covered everything that he's supposed to cover on this baseball field at his position. What we're doing right here is we're simulating last hops. The ball is put in play, and all he's doing is putting his hands on for the last hop. That's the last hop. And then after we go to the middle, we go outside. So he can use one hand, eyes, ball, and glove, always aligned. Then we go to backhand. There's always a little push through the ball on the backhand. If you got a little push, the ball got no place to go but where I want to put it. Right now, he got no feet, so you see a push. But when it's all working, when the feet is in motion, it all looks smooth. Well, it's consistent with what the, with yeah. the teaching, and that's the whole, yeah. whole key. And then backhand, whatever, you're still catching down front. Yes. So that's the one. He'll act like he's throwing low and pop one in my face. You got to turn the glove over. He doesn't want to see you catch it up here like this. Now we have to read it off the bat. Backhand. How often do you do this, Wash? Every single day. He can do this every day. This don't tie you out. This builds stamina. Now we back it up, flat glove. He's a pro at using that pad. And I don't take it easy on him, side to side, Marcus. He gonna put his hand on the ball. Now we start getting his feet involved. Feet and hands, start cutting angles. Yeah. I tell you, I put that pad on his hand and taught him how to use it, my man. The biggest thing I see already. You're lucky, man. You got somebody that bailed you out. It's yeah, Wash is right the best in the, in the business. He'll show up every day for you. There you go. He'll show up every guy. day, you know. That's what I needed. Other side, Marcus. Straight Wash. ahead. You realize, Outside. Marcus, the key to be, being successful in the big leagues is a routine. Sure. Guys don't understand that. That's right. We got this whole routine in the cage that we do. Yeah. You got T flips. Nobody does routines filled. This is T and flips on the ba on the defensive side for me. I mean, I I love hitting. I love hitting off the T. I love flips. I love this more than anything though. Now he got a glove on his hand. Okay. Now you're gonna see magic. Glove side. Why one hand on the front hand there, Marcus? just keeps you free. Okay. You come up, I mean, you, you're gonna feel balls with two hands sometimes, you get around them. But I think it's good to work on it, on these. Feel it on the inside of this leg, one hand, instead of, sometimes you get tied up with two. Mm-hmm. You, you feel it with one hand, much. get this shoulder to first base. That was good, I mean. That was real good. <laughs> Thank you, Wash. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. That's why you have a routine, folks. That's it from here.